Yo guys, this is my review for episode 7 of House of the Dragon. This review will have spoilers, so here's a warning about that. I also want to start off by saying I'm still sick, so if I cough, if I sniffle, please forgive me, I am worse than I was the past few days. I feel terrible, but I want to get these reviews out because I want to talk about the show. So yeah, this review will have spoilers, all that. Now, episode 7 of House of the Dragon came out. I'm a day late because I'm sick. It's been, you know, hard to get, hard to, you know, sit down and record these. And yeah, episode 7 came out and I got a chance to watch it and holy fuck man this show is just getting better and better what is happening i um, honestly i'm starting to think this might be better than game of thrones like season one at least i just i think it's definitely better than game of thrones season one but i love game of thrones season one so it's so hard but i love i'm loving this this is amazing this this is probably the best episode so far so much stuff happened it is you know so much big stuff is happening and it is all leading to the Dance of Dragons, which I don't know about. I heard about it on Twitter, but it sounds awesome. So, yeah. Um, I'm not going to, you know, go from the start of the episode to the end of the episode. I'm not going to break it down. I'm just going to talk about my thoughts like I usually do. So, this was incredible. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but it was so good. I'm loving the new actresses, the new um, actors, by the way. Olivia Cook and Emma Darcy. They are so good. They're so good. They're just pulling it off so smoothly. The transition was great last episode, and now this episode, I'm fully invested in these new actors. They're doing great. Now, I just, I'm so excited. I know that next episode is actually going to skip like nine years or something, which I think would probably be my only criticism. I don't like how we're jumping through time. I'd rather it be like a linear story taking place over like a few years, not like 20 years which yeah it's I feel like it's it does get hard to keep up with but they're pulling it off really well so it's okay um but yeah so big things happened this episode Vagar was tamed by Aemond which I was like when that bit was happening I was like rooting for Aemond I was like oh yeah this this is like you know this is kind of a good moment you know for Aemond and I was I was getting goosebumps when he was riding the dragon and we heard the theme of the Game of Thrones theme I had goosebumps. I was like, "This is this is this is amazing," and Vagar is huge, by the way. His the, the VFX look amazing on him. So yeah, that sequence was incredible. But then Aemon had to go ahead and ruin it, and start beating up Rhaenyra's kids and Daemon's kids. Um, and I was like, "Okay, what is he? Why why are you doing this?" And said, that "There's not conflict, but let's just let's just let's just cut it out." I feel bad for Viserys because all all Viserys wants is just to be one big happy family. That's all he wants, but nothing can ever go his way. I keep seeing this meme on Twitter of like, it's Ben Affleck smoking, like outside a movie set or something. He looks like he's just sick of it, but they Photoshop like um, like Viserys' clothes on him with the crown, and it's 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 just a really funny meme. But it perfectly describes Viserys in these past few episodes. Nothing can go his way. So yeah. He's definitely dying soon as well. There's no way he's making a pass next episode. I guarantee it. He's he's lived for far too long at this point. But yeah. Um, I'm just going to talk about that scene. That scene in the hole, like wherever it was, in, um, I don't even know whether, I think it's in Driftmark. Yeah. The funeral for, is it Lainor? Or, no, Lainor is the husband, but her name is like Lainor or something. Lainor. Damon's wife's funeral, basically. That's where the whole episode takes place. And yeah, um, and there's the scene in like the hall. I don't know what, it's in, it's in Driftmark somewhere. In like, in like a fireplace hall. Everybody's there. And they're stitching up Aemond. They're asking what happened. Everybody's there. And Alison and Rhaenyra get into it. And like, I like how there's like, you can pick sides. Because I completely, like, okay, I'm, I'm team Rhaenyra, obviously. Mo I think most people are. But... I can completely see where Alison is coming from when she's like, you know, he stabbed my son's eye. You know, like, there's clearly favouritism going on as well with Viserys and Rhaenyra. Like, obviously he's favouring her over everyone. So I understand her point, but at the end of the day, I'm on Rhaenyra's side. I, I, I agree with most of the things she's doing. I think she's, you know, she deserves this. She's the heir to the throne, you know? I'm, a, I'm team Rhaenyra, you know? It's the blacks versus the greens is what they're saying on Twitter. 
and the blacks is Rhaenyra, the greens is Allison. I am team Rhaenyra. I am with the team blacks. Anyway, so that scene was awesome, and it just uh, it's it's written so well. It gives me goosebumps. I'm glued to the screen. The way they're, you know, the way they're back and forth. It's like when Allison was like, "I shall, ha I shall have uh, her son's eye in return." I was like, "Oh my god!" And then she grabs Viserys. Is it Viserys? Yeah, she grabs Viserys' knife, and she tries to stab Rhaenyra. Jesus! And Rhaenyra's like, "Now they see you for who you are," and it's just ah, oh, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. It's just ah, oh, it's so good. I'm so excited for the next episode. I am. I don't like that the next episode is having a big time jump. But, yeah. Um, Damon and Rhaenyra finally got married. Well, finally. They're, they're niece and uncle. I shouldn't be shipping this relationship. But everybody is. You know? It's... We, we're used to twins, like, getting, like having, you know, relationships in Game of Thrones. I think an uncle and a niece had a very big age difference. Or, no, no, no very big age difference. I mean, like, they got pretty similar age. So, it's like, you know... It's okay. We'll, we'll let it slide. Um, yeah, they, they got married. They're joining their alliances now to fight against the Greens. This is happening. Stuff is picking up. It's getting... It, oh, whew, I'm so excited. Viserys is dying. He's obviously going to die. Apparently... Oh, by the way. I've learnt he has leprosy. So, that is what his condition is. It's leprosy. Everybody thought it was grayscale. But it's not. It's leprosy. So, we'll see how that goes. We'll see when he dies. Um, I wonder if Rhaenyra and Alicent are going to make up by the end of the series. I have not read the books. So I have no clue. But I I just, I kind of want them to. But at the same time, I was like, I don't like Alicent anymore. Like, I do. I like Alicent. I understand where Alicent is coming from. But it's like, after you try to stab Rhaenyra, it's like, alright, you need to calm down. You know? So, yeah. Um, I hope Kristen Cole dies, though. Like, he was about to take that boy's eye out. You can tell. He would have done it for Alicent because he's a simp. He's like... For any girl, any woman who like shows him attention, he will just swear his life to. He's pathetic. I hate Sir Kristen Cole. Hate him. Hate that man so much. I also hate Aemon, Aemon and Aegon. I hate Al Alicent's children. They're just little entitled pricks, and I hope they get what's coming to them. You know, but like so what? He lost his eye, but he also did attack um, Lucerus and Jaceris. Is it the names? I think so. I think I got it right. And. Oh god, I can't remember um, Rhaenys' kids. Anyway, so yeah. Um, also, I wanted to mention um, Lainor, uh, Alice, no, Alice, Rhaenyra's husband, escaped. He is free now. You know, like um, I feel bad for his parents though, because his parents do think he's been burnt alive. But um, yeah, he has escaped with um, I, Sir Carl, I think Sir Carl with a Q. Yeah, they escaped. Good on them. I was like, when when she was like, he must die, I was like, oh, are they really going to kill him? Like, they killed his boyfriend, like, two episodes ago, now they're killing him. I would have felt bad, but I'm glad that he's alive. Um, anyway, that's my review for episode 7 of House of the Dragon. Let me know your thoughts on the episode down below in the comments. Did you like this episode? Did you not? Are you liking this show? Are you not? Um, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.